You know, I really love visiting other people's gardens just to see what they've created. And this one is very different. It's Krakatini. Graham! Hey, <laughs> and Louise. Long time no see, darling. And Louise and I work together <laughs> on Ground Force, so it's fantastic to see her in her very own garden. Look at this. Yeah, you like it? I love it. Yeah. Wow. That's Gonzo, Scarecrow. Okay, I was... Doesn't work at all. <laughs> no, he does. <laughs> Birds sit on him, I suspect. Yeah. Why are the veggies in the front garden? Well, um, we used to have lawn here, and we don't have a lot of room in the back for veggies, and we thought, you know, this bit of grass is a waste of space. We'd let a lot of stuff go to seed, as you can see, yeah. the, the chard and the, and the parsley. Freebies. And it just comes up everywhere. You've got a wonderful collection of salvias. You've got reds, you've got blues, you've got bicolours. Salvias are fantastic today. Yeah, so tough. The dark purple one, yep. the noisy miners, all the nectar feeders love it. This thing that you need native plants for native yeah. animals and birds is not necessarily true. Something that absolutely captured my mind as I came through, that incredible flower colour of the, the pomegranate. If I'm passionate about anything today, it's like, People don't put trees in their gardens. Mm. Now, you don't have to put a huge tree, but there's a tree for every yard. And, and the beautiful thing about trees, apart from shade, is it takes your eye up and out, and it makes the space feel bigger. Now, the garden is quite famous for all those people that like to visit gardens and visit open gardens, but I get asked a lot, is it named after some sort of, you know, volcano in the North Island uh, of New Zealand? Absolutely not. <laughs> so where's Krakatini come from? Graham, you're Australian, right? <laughs> It's a garden built on beer, honey. Ah. That's the truth. I love, everyone who knows me knows I love my beer. And really, you cannot garden without a beer in one hand. Okay. That's the truth. Come on, I'll show you. Thanks. <laughs> it's amazing to see what can be achieved in just a 630 square metre block that was a blank canvas just 24 years ago. And Louise has created the illusion that there's a lot going on. Starting to get your personality coming. I've known you for a long time, but your personality is coming through with all the little bits and pieces, and that's what a garden can be, isn't it? Yeah, I just like the rustic look, and that was actually an old um, blackbird nest that oh. fell out of a tree. Pattern is beautiful. Isn't it gorgeous? Yeah, then drove me more. That is beautiful. I love it. Fountain. A bit of old Rio. You like it? I do. It used to have a water barrel and it rotted out and we thought, oh, it's a bit twee, so we got the old um, RSJs and just stepped it down and, yeah, we like rust. This is a cute little spot, I love it. Oh, hang on, hang on, Graham. There's more. Wait, there's more? Oh, wait, there's more. Come on up here. <laughs> After you. Wow. <laughs> Another room. Indeed, Graham. Come have a seat. Everything has a second life here, even the garden tools. They do, Graham. We kind of hang up things that are a bit had it. There's a couple of old broken handled forks and things. You've got these, what look to me like the tops of telegraph poles. Very well observed. Yes, they are. I'll tell you what, they're a hell of a hole to dig, though. Well, yeah, you've got 20 or 30 metres down. My yeah. word. <laughs> <laughs> and you've still got the little stamps on them, which is rather cute. Yeah, they make, they make great places for, for beer or drinks. And, it's just, and it gives you that kind of tribal totem fire pit feel, which is what we were after. And uh, wood chip mulch? Cypress mulch. Yep. Big fan of cypress mulch. Yeah, no white ants for the cypress mulch. And it smells wonderful too. Come this way, Graham, and I'll show you this little wee fairy garden room. What a wonderful little hideaway. She's, it's pretty tight in here. It's a little sort of fairly useless corner of the garden, but um, all the kids love it, grandkids, neighbourhood kids, and it's just kind of the place where, you know, kids can come in and just let their imagination run riot. Wow, what an absolute gem this is. Thank you for sharing it with us today. Graeme, it's been a pleasure. It's been lovely to see you again, but I have to say... Yeah. It's quite thirsty work doing all this talking about gardening, so how about... I reckon it's time we crack the tinny. Go for it. I'll go get them <laughs> sorted, honey. Oh, that's the sound I've been waiting to hear. <laughs>